four, three, two, one. Ignition. And one. Go Falcon. Go Polaris. Copy one Alpha. SpaceX has officially launched its Polaris Dawn rocket into orbit. It lifted off early this morning from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, taking a four-person civilian crew farther into space than any other spacecraft since the Apollo moon missions. CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood has more. This is really an ambitious mission for SpaceX and quite a feather in their cap if they can pull it off. They have two major objectives here. They're going to fly higher than any astronauts or cosmonauts have flown since the end of the Apollo program more than 50 years ago. They're going to be in an elliptical orbit with a high point of 870 miles. That's something like 500, 600 miles higher than the International Space Station flies. So they're going to get some spectacular views of Earth in the process. Uh, but I think the thing that's gotten the most attention, obviously, is they're planning the first commercial civilian spacewalks, non-government spacewalks. No one's ever done that before. Uh, they're going to be wearing spacesuits designed by SpaceX. They're, they're hoping that these will be easier to manufacture, less expensive than these bulky spacesuits NASA has been using now for decades, and really open up the high frontier to more and more people. So Jared Isaacman, the man who chartered this mission, the billionaire philanthropist, and Sarah Gillis, who's an engineer at SpaceX, are each going to spend about 15 minutes just outside the forward hatch of the Crew Dragon module testing out these new suits, proving they have good mobility, that they're comfortable, safe to wear, uh, before coming back inside. So it's a big step forward for SpaceX. There's quite a bit of risk involved in all of this, of course, but uh, they think they've got that well managed and they're optimistic about the outcome. Lindsay? Bill Harwood, thank you.